Hey there, this is PPCQQQ and I am going to teach you uh, the very basics of S3. Now first of all I wanna say that this tutorial is dedicated to basically tell everything I possibly can about um, life support. So if you have any questions, uh, any recommends, just post them in the description. Two seconds, I better start this watch. Alright then. First of all, I want to tell you then, if you're completely new at Space Build 3, if you want me to make Space Build 2 tutorials, just ask. Just ask and I will make some total too. We're going to go through basically everything from wire inputs to uh, almost all generators, storages, yeah, a lot of stuff really. So let's first start up with the very basics. Now, the only thing you actually need is the link tool, I usually use the smart link. Then you need storage devices, generators, and environment control. This is the three main you need in order to survive in space. Then let us see... Now, we are going to... If you are TG, you can use a resource cache. It can store everything as you can see. Right here, everything. Uh, but we are not going to be that TD yet. Now, we are going to spawn some oxygen barrels. Now it's needed to know that all resources in the game needs a storage. Needs some form of storage. Uh, basically no resources can be used without a storage. It's really important to remember. Now here we have the three very basic resources in space build. Energy, uh, oxygen and water. This is the three main resources you're using for surviving on planets and out in space. Now I'm going to place a large node. Uh, a little thing about the nodes if you are new or just, uh, you know, like the original Space Build 2. You will notice then in Space Build 3 you can no longer link a storage or generator or actually just a generator directly up to a storage. It's impossible now. You need everything you need to go to a resource node. More about that will follow in some advanced life support tutorial. Now, what we're going to do now is basically make some air, water and oxygen. Now oxygen, you of course need some oxygen compressors. For this demonstration, you're going to make one, uh, nah, two, it's just a demonstration. On a show you can just go crazy if you want to. <laughs> so, energy, there's many ways you can get energy. Solar panels, fusion reactors. Fusion reactors uh, is very different from the original game, or the original game mode, because it requires water in order to operate. And it produces steam, energy, and gives you a little water. But more on that in the, uh, sorry, more about that in the advanced life support. Now for my case, because we are on the planet, I'm just going to use a wind generator because they're producing a good amount of energy. I'm going to use auto pump. I'm going to use this. Actually, I'm going to use the large one. Press two. Now what you're going to do is there are many, many, there's many, many, many ways that you can link stuff. What I usually do: click everything with the smart link tool. Starches, just don't the node, for God's sake, don't click the node with this. Oh yeah, we actually go are going to click the node, but what you want to do with the node, is you want to right click the node, everything will be attached. As you can see, energy goes up, and we can turn devices on. When, before I turn it on, I want to say that I have a little trick that you can use, what allows you to turn off the sound, but the generators will still work. Just if you don't know it, most people probably already know it, but if you don't, eh, yeah, just to help you. First of all, start all generators. And then, in order to cut the sound off, uh, oops, like this, you have to go to a console, if you don't have it, uh, go to settings, go to advanced, and uh, yeah, you can actually do this, and that will available it. But I have um, a command in Steam making this just toggle 
immediately. I can probably show you to do that if you really want to. Then you're going to tap stop sounds and hit submit or enter. You can click. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I have it on copy. So we're going to fly over here again. And if you notice, it's still also on. It still produce oxygen. It still produce water. And still electricity or power energy. But it doesn't say anything because we turned the sound off. It's one of the most useful commands I ever found for Space Belt because the sound is just so freaking embarrassing. So, yeah. Now, this is pretty much it for this uh, part of the tutorial, or the actual this tutorial. If you have any further questions about simple life support, you are more than welcome to post them in the comment bar uh, underneath the video. If you want to know how to get life support free, then I can also help you a lot with that. In the description, I'm going to place a link showing you everything uh, you need to know about it. And then you can download by SVN. Just a little uh, sound here. Some people recommend that you go to GarageBand.org or DLAW or somewhere else and download it. I will not, not recommend that because it's very just people saying that it is it's no matter. It is clearly not no matter. I tried all the versions. The SVN version is a hundred times better. And I'm going to place a, a link where you can download it in the description. I don't have any screen, you know, just Windows recorder or camera or anything. So you have to seek another tutorial if you don't know how to use them. So then, we are going to... I'm going to cut this tutorial here. Hope this helped you if you have trouble about gathering resources. The next one is going to be basic environment control. What, where I am going to tell you about how to use the life support. Because, of course, we need to get some use for it. So, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.